I recently got on to 20 megahertz on sideband with a UT5 uh, JCW transverter. That uh, unit puts out about two, maybe three watts um, uh, with uh, fairly clean uh, uh, intermods and so forth. Anyway, I wanted to boost the power and uh, so I, I got this unit, which is an RFC 3-211. It's 2 watts in and 100 watts out. Uh, it was owned by another ham who uh, passed away, and I got it from a, a third ham who, or a uh, second ham who happened to have it. Uh, this uh, unit uh, had some problems on the receive side, so I thought I'd check to see if it is tuned in the uh, part of the band that I'm operating. And uh, uh, I also wanted to check this relay right here, which is an old Guardian relay. It's a very good uh, RF relay, but uh, it can uh, be prone to having uh, problems with the uh, contacts uh, needing burnishing. So I opened it up, popped the cover off, and cleaned everything up and put it back on. Now I'm going to check the thing to see what we have as far as uh, gain and tuning. What I've got here is a bullet, and uh, as you see, I've got minus 60 uh, dBm here. Let's uh, put this on amplitude. Reference level is minus 50, 55, 60. It's sloping somewhat here, so I thought uh, I would uh, normalize that. So we'll hit tracking generator, normalize. Turn on the normalization by holding the button, and then... Uh, I've set it up for 5 dB per increment here. Here's 0 dBm, or 0 dB, uh, which is no gain between these two points. I've got a 10 dB pad here. I've got a 20 dB pad here and a 10 dB pad here. So that's a total of, uh, what, uh, 40 dB. Uh, so any variations in this coax and stuff should not be uh, problematical for us. And um, that's our reference level, so we'll just stop that uh, by going to the trace here. We're on uh, trace, let's put it on trace 2. Uh, we'll go clear right on trace 2. There's trace 2. We'll go freeze. And so that's our reference level. Uh, which is zero. Now I'll put this onto here and we'll see what the loss is through the amplifier with just the relay and so forth. I'm putting the uh, signal source on the antenna port here uh, because that's uh, what you'd want for the preamp gain. And I'm putting the uh, spectrum analyzer receiver on the uh, other port here. Looks like I've got the preamp tur uh, turned on here. First, let's, uh, rather than uh, looking at that, which obviously needs some tuning, let's uh, turn off the preamp over here. All right, and there's our actual response of the uh, from this port all the way through here to this port. And it looks like we're uh, point, uh, 4, point, uh, 3, 0.4, 3.4 uh, dB uh, lost through this thing. So we'll save that as well. That's trace number, th uh, let's make it trace number three here. So we'll uh, clear right trace number three and freeze that one. So now we have a record of, of the through loss from this port to this port through the relays and, and without the preamp on. All right, so those two uh, are frozen, but the only one that isn't frozen right now is we're on clear right on the uh, trace number one, which is the yellow trace. Turn on the preamp. 
and there's our gain but it's uh, skewed up here I actually detuned it a little bit uh, to uh, show for demonstration purposes and in here uh, there are two capacitors to tune you can't see those but I'll tune them Tune that one there and that looks like it's pretty good. And it uh, looks like we got 12.2 dB gain at 222, at 224, we got 12. At 220, we have an 11.7, uh, and uh, the 222 here is actually on the uh, reference here, which is 0.2 dB. Uh, that's uh, marker number four. So uh, that's the error uh, of this line right now, which is within the uh, capabilities of this particular unit. So you could subtract that out. Uh, or add that in as the case may be. So let's save that one. Freeze. All right, so there we have it. Very uh, simple to do. Um, I can now make a record of this. And we'll make it uh, RFC 3211 gain through loss because that's what we've measured. And I can just save that by pushing the uh, OK up here. So this uh, now has that file on it, that picture on it, and I can uh, put that on the computer and do whatever I want to on displaying it or just keeping it as a record.